Some primates are known to sleep around more than others. Chimpanzees and rhesus macaques are generally more promiscuous compared to humans and gorillas. PhD candidate Jacqueline Nascimento has been investigating whether there's also a difference in the sperm swimming speeds of these species. She used a laser and microscope setup to determine how fast sperm move. So we start with this laser, it's an infrared laser, so we can't see the laser beam, but it's being bounced off these mirrors and through these lenses and actually is coupled into this microscope. And you can see it here as it enters the side port of this microscope. So as it goes through all the lenses within the microscope, it comes up and goes through that objective and it generates the optical tweezers. It generates a force and traps microscopic particles. For us, we're trapping sperm cells. The laser beam traps sperm by transferring its momentum to the sperm cell. Once the sperm is captured, the laser power is gradually reduced using a polarizer. What this polarizer does is it can rotate in this mount and when it starts to turn, it decreases the laser power in the focal volume uh, where we have our trapped sperm cells. And as that power decreases, the force exerted on the sperm decreases. And at some point, that sperm swimming force will overcome the laser trapping force and the sperm will be able to escape the laser trap. Jacqueline used a computer to monitor the sperm's activity under the microscope. When we select a sperm, we're tracking it. And the whole time we're tracking it, we're calculating the swimming speed of this sperm. So we're tracking the sperm. The computer keeps moving it to the right location so we can keep tracking it. And now it's going to try and trap it. And that's the trap location. There, now it's in the trap. You can see the power is decreasing. And the sperm was so strong, it was able to escape at a very high power of 391 milliwatts. And we're still tracking it and still calculating the velocity. Jacqueline found that there was a difference between the sperm swimming speed of each of the primates. On average, the chimp and the macaque were the strongest, so they were swimming away out of the trap a lot sooner than the other two primates. And then human was somewhere in the middle, didn't swim away as fast as the macaques and the chimps, but the gorilla was the slowest. It waited till the power was really, really low before it was capable of escaping that trap. She had expected that more promiscuous primates would have faster swimming sperm. When females have several sexual partners, faster sperm improves a male's chances of fertilizing an egg. But she was surprised to discover that human sperm speeds fell in between the gorillas and the chimps. This suggests that humans could have had a more promiscuous past.